Despite confidence from the superintendent and even members of the board, the teachers in the Idaho Falls School District voted not to ratify the proposed 2024-25 contract. The vote came in after teachers considered the amendments to their contract during a lengthy PowerPoint presentation this afternoon. Local News 8's Ashley Chilcutt was at Taylor View Middle School for the meeting. She has more reaction and the next steps. I was shocked at the number of people that voted no. The vote not to ratify came as a surprise to Julie Naraki, the Idaho Falls Education Association president. I want all of our teachers to have a contract. I want them to feel secure. I want them to know that they're respected. She says it is rare for teachers to object to contracts like this, but there were strong feelings of opposition stemming from treatment during the negotiating process. When the district started negotiations, the superintendent told us she was directed by the board to offer us a salary freeze. No lanes and movements and no increase to salary. Because of that move, um, I think people were just completely blindsided and, and offended. So they're not willing, they're not willing to move because they were offended so early with, with a, a salary freeze. Perhaps even more unprecedented is what happened next. Is there a vote of no confidence in a specific person? Is there a vote of no confidence in multiple people? I, I, that's what we would need to know, because I'm going to have to be very specific when I deliver this message. Jeff Cannon, Eagle Rock Middle School. I vote in no confidence, or I ask for a vote of no confidence in the Noah Farmer and, <laughs> and Carl, Superintendent Carla Orange. Both votes. On the spot, teachers began a vote of no confidence for D91 Superintendent Carla La Orange and D91 Director of Finance Lanelle Farmer. Teachers again voted, but this time to send a message. This is Superintendent La Orange's reaction to the news. I was disappointed that the contract wasn't ratified. Really, what I would say to our teachers is that we have been working together as teams. Um, from the district representing the board and the Teachers Association since September. I think our focus has been on how to support teachers and serving students that will continue to have that focus. The ratification meeting seemed to be a step forward in a process that began in September. Now, the district may have to go back to the drawing board. Our next steps are, are pretty simple and it's going to be up to, to both teams to decide, but we either go back to the table we declare that we're at an impasse and, um, or we go to mediation. Reporting for Local News 8 in Idaho Falls, I'm Ashley Chilcutt. And breaking news tonight, I was just handed this just before this story, just before our newscast began. It comes from the District 91 Board of Trustees. They just released these comments on the teacher salary negotiations from earlier tonight. Uh, they tell us, quote, uh, District 91 Board of Trustees values and respects its teachers who work tirelessly to support students daily. As elected officials, we must answer to the voters and honor our stewardship to ensure that the district stays solvent. The funds simply do not exist to give our teachers the additional raise they have requested. Funding for the district is controlled by the state and our supplemental levy. This is a funding issue, not a performance or appreciation issue." End quote. For the full response, go to our website and look for this story at localnews8.com.